lots of video views on the jinn, the elite and all of these different uh, realities and uh, immense fitna of dajjal that the dajjal is called deceit. Just, uh, we don't call the antichrist because uh, that's not involved with us. What we call the dajjal is a dajjal is a, is a person and a jinn of deceit. And the jinn races will push upon mankind that they created mankind. Hence when the dajjal appears he'll claim to be the creator of mankind, astaghfirullah They didn't create anything and whatever genetic modification and anything else that they're claiming that genetic modification definitely, creating fitna definitely. But everything is from Allah's oceans of ahad, that unique oneness in which nothing is like unto it. And that everything is unified in an immense wisdom and knowledge from Allah And whatever dajjal is going to be coming upon this earth to tell people that He has created them and His minions of His jinn nations that they created human beings and all of which is a lie. And the fitna of what he spreads upon the earth is immense. So when Prophet described for us that the fitna is immense because of the amount of proofs he'll try to bring and the knowledges he'll try to bring and then begin to introduce into this world, those are immense. And those whom are safe from that fitna are the ones whom why Prophet directed us to Surat Al-Kahf, read Surat Al-Kahf so that to be protected from Dajjal and the deceitful one was to enter Surat Al-Kahf and to be from the people of the cave and train with the people of the cave whom they train with their heart. The deceit of the eyes will be too much, the deceit of the ears will be too much. And what's coming from these jinn and they are jinn and they're called alien but they're called jinn in the Muslim nation. And whatever Prophet brought for us is that they will come and cause a great deceit. And those whom they trained with their heart, to open their heart, to have the vision through their heart, the connection with Allah's community of ishq and muhabbat because they operate from their heart. That if you're in the community of eyes and ears and you take your life's guidance from only eyes and ears where they're going to do their magic upon those eyes and ears. Those whom they operate through their heart and their training through their heart, then that light begins to enter, the certainty of faith begins to enter, the certainty of their vision begins to enter in which that Divinely guidance begins to give them the understanding that, no this is a deceit, what they're saying are lies and all of what they're doing is to prepare themselves for the arrival upon this earth. There's somebody who emailed, why if it's like that they didn't just do it in five minutes? What kind of thinking is that? How, how, how does someone think like that? That if, if it's going to happen it would happen in five minutes. Everything in our life has to come in stages. Humans are not capable of witnessing what these creatures want you to witness. They're not capable physically to tolerate that witness, they're not capable mentally to tolerate what they have to witness and they're in no way capable spiritually to handle what they have to witness. So they came in stages, this plan of Dajjal is thousands of years old Allah has written that. And their plan has been because their lifespan is a thousand, two thousand, three thousand years. It's not a lifespan of seventy years. So for them taking a nap is an easy 1500 years they wait and they appear the way they want to appear. Means the system of Dajjal is a complete deception and for his minions and the jinn and the nefarious creatures that are going to be occupying the earth, humans have to be prepared for that. 
So they have been infiltrating human creation and Mawlana Shaykh many times described but 99% of humanity now is taken over by them and we describe their taking over is of an energy, they're of a, of a subtle reality, they're of an electric reality, they don't have a physicality. So it's very easy for them, they enter into the human persona and as a result that person no longer operates under the laws of humanity and their humanity is gone. That's why now when you look at the world the humanity is gone, their violence it has a level of this is not human anymore. The way they talk in their songs, they act like wild dogs, they call each other by dogs either male and female and the humanity is gone. Every characteristic of how they eat, how they talk, how they carry themselves and carry the, the respect of humanity is gone. So they're all being occupied by these nefarious creatures. So already that system has been implemented and everything else of food and culture and the technologies that this system was to bring into humanity has already taken place. So they have already introduced their technologies, they have introduced their, their understanding and they have lowered the frequency of humanity in which to occupy them. They have now even medicated them to be tolerated by them. So everything they're doing is for a very close appearance and the arrival of Dajjal as if he's already walking this earth and putting together his government and his reality. So these things are already upon this earth and as soon as their government talks it's all about, I'm not talking about this human government, this, they don't understand nothing. But when their government talks they talk about how they created humanity. That, that's, that's when you understand that this is the Dajjal people talking. Then when they start talking that the jinn which they call aliens created humanity and that they want to come and teach us how they created humanity, uh, that's Dajjal. And that's what Prophet warned us, warned us about that type of activity in which they'll come and he will call himself a Lord and that he is the creator and that he brings life and death based on his technologies and what he shows to humanity of those technologies. We pray that Allah grant us more and more haybah. Allah's Divine Qudra and Divine Power that these lights of Qamar and these lights of Sayyidina Muhammad, Malik al-Muqtadir to dress us, dress our face, dress our being and to protect us from their fitna and to assign from us from heavenly guardians and heavenly lights to protect ourselves, our family and our communities inshaAllah. Subhan Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifum. Wa salaamun al mursaleen, muhammadillahi rabbil alameen, bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa, bi siri Surat al Fatiha.